Listen, I totally get it. You want that Magic Keyboard experience, but you don't want to spend another $300 since you just bought a brand new iPad Air. Well, you are in the right place because today we're checking out the world of nifty yet affordable keyboards and we're looking at the ESR Ascend keyboard case for the iPad Air 5 and the 11 inch iPad Pro. So stick around, this might be the affordable budget friendly keyboard that you've been looking for. Let's get started. The Ascend keyboard case is tailored for the 11 inch iPad Air and the 11 inch iPad Pro, which boosts a two part design that just screams versatility. But can it walk the walk as much as it talks the talk? Let's find out. Right from the start, it's sleek design and sturdy build quality that are noticeable. While it carries that budget price tag, it does not have that chintzy budget feeling. You know what I'm talking about. The design is nothing short of unique. The stand itself, I think, is a game changer for a lot of people. Now imagine adjusting your viewing angle from a laid back 15 degrees to an ambitious 180 degrees, no matter where you're at. Whether you're typing up a storm at your desk or binge watching in bed, the stand has you covered. You could rotate the keyboard behind the device for a lean back movie watching experience or lean back just a bit further for taking notes on a conference call. Let's dive deeper into the keyboard and the trackpad because that is where this is gonna shine. The keyboard is a QWERTY setup in an 80% layout with a dedicated row of function keys, which I am a huge fan of, which is a rare find at this price range. This is gonna give you quick access to all the common media functions, volume functions, lock keyboard, uh, in addition to powering off the keyboard. Now the keyboard is about the same size as what you'd find on other keyboards for the similar device, and the typing on it feels intuitive yet comfortable. The keys don't feel cramped and they strike a balance between compactness and usability. And the multi-touch trackpad is fluid and precise and supports all the major functions that you would have on the much more expensive keyboards. So it does work, again, largely what you would expect from a Magic Keyboard, though it's maybe just not as smooth. It is something that if you are coming from a Magic Keyboard, you're definitely gonna notice it, but if you've never used the Magic Keyboard, you are not gonna know what you're missing. Connectivity and battery life is where the Ascend keyboard is gonna excel for most people. Now this will connect to your iPad via Bluetooth, so it doesn't use a smart dock connector that's on the back of the iPad. So that means that this has its own separate battery to charge. The battery itself is about 450 milliamp hours, and you should get about two months worth of usage time out of this, typing on it every day, depending on how aggressive that you have the backlight settings and how bright they are turned on. Now what's great about the backlight settings is that if you are stop using the keyboard for one minute, there's a timeout function, and it will turn off the keyboard backlight, saving you battery life. Now you can charge this with the included cable that comes in the box, or you can use the iPad as this power source. And it's gonna charge fully, I would say in my experience, in about 60 minutes, which you'll get that two month battery life, depending on how you're, again, you're using it. Now the LED backlight is not just about aesthetics, it's about functionality, offering seven different color options and three different brightness levels. It adapts to any environment, being a dimly lit room or even a bright office. And let's not forget about versatility. What really makes the Ascend keyboard case shine is the fact that the keyboard hinge extends here from the back down. So you could use this keyboard and the case either in landscape mode, which is magnetic, right? Uh, actually, this is portrait mode, not landscape mode, but in landscape or portrait mode, depending on what you're doing, this is where it's really gonna shine for most people because you can take phone calls, the read documents, all in portrait or landscape. Now, besides the keyboard prowess, the Ascend offers a solid protection for your iPad there is an included non-slip polycarbonate shell, which you see here on the back, which obviously does have the cutouts for the camera. It is full, have the right cutouts in the place for the speakers and for the power button, which allows you to use this either with the iPad Pro or the iPad Air, as well as all the speakers down here. This side is uncovered, so if you wanted to use it with your Apple Pencil, you certainly could. That does have that function as well. And there is a latch to keep your Apple Pencil in place while you're in transport, which again, this is just about nailing all the basics, but I think that's what the ESR Ascend case has done. So now what is the verdict? I think for $70, this keyboard case really is a strong contender for a lot of people out there that are looking to buy a keyboard, be productive with their iPad, but don't wanna break the bank. Uh, it gives you a lot of functionality that you get in more expensive keyboards for a much smaller price or much lower price. It does have the ability to balance functionality with affordability and giving you a practical solution for your iPad in terms of a keyboard case. Now, it might not offer you the precision that you get with the Magic Keyboard, but it's really one quarter of the price. And I honestly, I don't think ESR is trying to even do that. It's gonna be carving out its own niche with its features that are both user-friendly and budget-friendly. Now, really, will this be the computer replacement that you're looking for? You know, it depends. I would say that if you plan on using this as a lap typer, so you're putting this on your lap and you're typing, you might have trouble balancing it because of this hinge design. You have to balance two parts on your knees, and if you move your knees, it's gonna rock. So that's one thing that you wanna keep in mind when you are looking for a keyboard case for your iPad. Now, remember, this video is not sponsored, but if you're considering the Ascend keyboard case, 
use the links in the description below as it does help support the channel. I buy all these accessories myself. And hey, if you wanna learn more about being productive on your iPad, there's a video you should check out right here. And if you wanna get my latest wallpaper pack, which is gonna help dress up your iPad, make it look a little bit nicer, which I know you wanna do, there's a link right here to go ahead and check out my latest wallpaper pack. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, my name is Mike, and we'll talk to you in the next one.